Hey, my peeps. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to start it off with Roz and her live earlier. She went on um, brief, well, not briefly. She went on earlier, and the tone of her live was a lot different. Um, she was able to control her live. She had um, Lele on that was talking about how, I guess, people are saying that they have multiple IP addresses, and I guess they were talk tagging the feds and... Okay. And then I someone in the audience, it wasn't necessarily Treese. I'm not going to say it was Treese, but of course they used their name, her name. They were in there trying to antagonize um, Sharita. And I will say Roz held her own. She was like, oh no, you know, we're not going to do that. You know, we're going to keep it respectful, you know, and I just appreciated the tone. It was easier to watch. Um, they had went, they did an update on Courtney. With that update, they were saying that because in Georgia he is considered an adult, there's nothing that could be done. They, she said that you know he was given information to where if he wants to pursue it, he could. Um, so I just kind of wanted to give that update because I did touch bases on that. So I wanted to make sure that I seen that through and just kind of gave you guys an update. Um, Roz did say that because of their decision, she didn't feel like any of the allegations should still, you know, be, I guess, circling around. I believe that's what I heard her say. Um, just wanted to kind of, just wanted to kind of acknowledge her tone because it was different. And, um, I have criticized her in the past about it. So I want to acknowledge the change in it. Um, moving forward, uh, I was watching Teresa's live from earlier I just don't understand. Like, <laughs> she went to go pick up Oreo from the boarding place and because he had bit somebody, okay? So she picks him up. Of course, she goes there without a leash because why be prepared, you know? Why be responsible? But anyway, um, she gets them in the car. They go home, and the men are outside working on her deck. What does she do? She just opens up the door and lets him roam around. It's like, is she just waiting for a lawsuit to happen? Like, is that is that her ultimate goal? Because that isn't the first person that Oreo has attacked. And I'm going to say attacked because, you know, he bit them. I don't know. You know, it's just like, that's not the first person. And she did it in her old the house that she just moved out of. She would allow for Oreo just to go out and just roam. She did it at the other house. It's like, at what point? Like, I just pray no one gets seriously injured from her negligence. I really, really do. It's not even about her, it's about all of the people she's putting in jeopardy because obviously Oreo doesn't have any boundaries, any training, you know, so forth. So, and it's just really sad because if, he, if Lord forbid that ever happens, he would be put to sleep. And it's not even his fault in a sense, you know? So I don't know, that was just super ignorant to me. And then, you know, she gets off live. She comes back with a title that says um, something like, is this fair? On this live, she's like going off on the guy who's building the deck because he's asking for more money because he said that the supplies were a little bit more than he anticipated. And he was saying that he didn't want more money per se. He just wanted, he wasn't upping the price he was charging her. He was just asking for more money up front, if that makes sense. And the way that he broke it down made total sense, but because she was being all manic and crazy, in my opinion, she couldn't understand it. So she's like speaking over him and, you know, she was a little high, you know, high toned or whatever. And then all of a sudden she just goes full blown manic. And she, in my opinion, and then she takes her, her gun out and he's like, man, were you pulling a gun out on me? And she's like, you know, now in all fairness, I don't think she pulled it on him. I think she just took it out of purse. Cause then you can see her laying it on her lap and um she's like well she's screaming at the top of her lungs y'all you could just leave i'll just call somebody else out to do it and she's accusing him of not paying his workers and she's just like going full blown off she calls the police y'all <laughs> she calls the police talking about just in case he comes back and this man was in no way threatening her or aggressive. Not not in the video that she posted, okay? I don't know what happened before. But in the video that she posted before she took it off, in no way was that man at all aggressive to her. It was just foolish. 
it was almost embarrassing to watch. And it was sad because it's like a glimpse into her life and what everybody else probably around her goes through. Oh my goodness. Girl therapy. That's what, that's what I'm going to say. Counseling. Therapy. It's okay. The best of the counselors need counseling. Therapists sometimes need a little bit of therapy. It's okay. Nothing's wrong with it. Oh my gosh. And she talking about getting her kids back. I pray that she goes and gets some type of therapy because her temper is wild, y'all. And then she's like scary. That's the thing that's kind of because she's scary. And then she's like, she's hot headed and she's scary. That's scary. Okay. Because why are you calling the police? And then she calls her friend and her friend is like co-signing this mess. I'm sorry. If I was her friend, I'd have been like, girl, wait a minute. Am I on speaker? Take me off real quick. Calm down. What is wrong with you? Listen to what this man is saying. <laughs> look, get off live. If you don't want to calm down, like just get off. This is not a good look. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. I, I just. But, you know, she did. She was on the phone with her mother. I guess PJ is graduating. Well, not I guess he, PJ is graduating and she and her mother meeting up somewhere. So I was happy to hear that because I don't really hear too much about, you know, her interacting with her mother. Um, but I guess the two of them are going to meet up to go and see him graduate. So those are all, you know, that's a great thing. And, you know, maybe if she develops a better relationship with her mother, that will help her to heal. Or maybe it'll help her to maybe see some of, I don't know. I'll never mind. Y'all have a good one and I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs>